Now, my next guest thinks that business leaders are optimistic when it comes to President Macron and his ability to engage in reforms. Olivier Marshall is the chairman of Bain and Company in France. He joins me from our Paris uh, bureau. And um, it, it is interesting, again, such a dichotomy. We just finished talking to the bi bi leader in the business community in the UK, which is really seeing confidence go south. Very different story, it seems, where you are. Does this showing in the election give Macron the mandate he needs to pursue reform? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the uh, election yesterday was a real tsunami in France. As you saw, the main two uh, historical political parties in France, which used to control 80 to 90 percent of the seats at, at Parliament, are likely to go down to 25 percent, if not less, uh, during the second round next weekend. And that clearly is good news for President Macron, as it gives him a clear mandate to conduct the reforms that the country really needs. Mm. Uh, Olivier, it's, it's one thing to win, and then it's another thing to actually execute. As you well know, in the business community, turnout was low. Many voters seem dissatisfied. What is the risk here for President Macron? Turnout uh, was actually l not only low, but the lowest in 50 years, with less than 50 percent of French people voting uh, yesterday, which clearly raises the question on, you know, the democratic uh, scene in France. In terms of risk of uh, execution, well, first of all, you know, we have a second round next weekend, which is the next immediate important milestone. My bet is that. President Macron uh, has probably a 95 percent chance of confirming, if not amplifying, the majority uh, that seemed to surface at yesterday's uh, election. Now, the next challenge and test, I think, will be uh, the reform of the labor laws in France. That is absolutely a cr crucial and critical reform for the French economy and its competitiveness. And I think it's a double test. First of all, it will be a test for the French people, and in particular, the trade union's willingness and ability to try to resist reform. And secondly, it will be a very important and interesting test for President Macron's and his government determination to lead the reform push for the reform and initiate the transformation of the French economy. And it, I, I think it will be a very important test for Macron's ability, his leadership ability, right, to connect with the voters. How is, what kind of message does he need to deliver to convince those trade union, the voters, the young, that this reform is the right remedy for the French economy? That messaging has to be so important. What would you recommend? You're on the front line of the French economy. What is needed? Why should they vote for this? two things. First of all, I think, you know, the negotiations are going to be facilitated by the strong movement uh, in favor of President Macron during that uh, election campaign. The second one has to do with his method of negotiation. And regarding the reform of the labor laws in France, Muriel Pénicaud, who is the French Minister of Labor, has decided to adopt a very consensual mode of negotiation with more than 48 bilateral negotiation rounds with the trade unions. And I think that kind of productive dialogue with the trade unions is the right way to proceed. Yeah, get them to buy in to the solution. Uh, radical thinking in politics these Absolutely. days, Olivier, it would seem. Let's see if Macron can get it done. Thank you so much for joining us. So appreciate your insight.